Greetings again, CCLers. This is Steve Boyd, a.k.a. The Valiant One on ComicCollectorLive.com. Coming at you not so live and direct from our offices here in beautiful Hendersonville, Tennessee, and I'm continuing our video tutorial series on how to use the CCL software program. The CCL software is something you can download off ComicCollectorLive.com to keep track, manage, and organize your comic collection. And we don't just do comics. We do magazines, hardcovers, trade paperbacks, all that fun stuff. And today in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you a little bit about data management, including backup restoration and how to save a backup and all that fun stuff. Basically, a misconception people have about the CCL software is that we keep track of your collection for you. That's not the case. You actually download the product onto your system, but we have no idea what your collection has. So you modify a, basically an empty bucket by downloading cover titles and stuff from CCL. And you can see how to do this in some of our other tutorial videos, how to add titles and whatnot. But let's say the unthinkable happens and you've cataloged 5,000 comics with your CCL software and uh, lightning strikes, Thor's hammer comes down and your laptop crashes basically. And you take it to a dude and the dude looks at your computer and he thinks he can restore it or whatnot. Or let's say he can't, let's say he can't, he can't restore it and you have to buy a new laptop. You download the CCL software, a new version of it on the laptop, thinking that if you log in, your collection's gonna be there, and it's not. Uh, that's because that information's held locally on your computer, and that depends on how you back up your system. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have a good, up-to-date backup of your CCL data pretty much every time you close that software down. And you can do that by going to the little Saturn icon, which is more than just a pretty face. If you left click there, oh look, there's some options there. Two options are your data management. One is backup data and one is restore data. Your backup data is going to uh, give you an option where you can save your data pretty much in any of these little folders here. I like to store my backups, uh, my files on my desktop. So I've already got it defaulted there. You hit OK and uh, it says data management um, successfully saved right there to your desktop. You can see it saved a little little thing right there. But that's not the one we want to use because that one's empty. That has nothing in it. What we need to do is we need to get our old software information into this empty bucket. And we're going to do that pretty simply by, again, going to our um, blue Saturn icon. Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. The first thing you need to do is make sure you've got your backup that you want to use. Maybe you saved it on a thumb drive, which we highly suggest you do. Maybe you still have access to the files on your old computer. Maybe your computer didn't crash. You can still get that backup. Either way, you're going to need this in order for this to work. So we know where our backup program is. If it's on a thumb drive, transfer it over to your new laptop and put it there. You go to data and we go to restore data. Now, in this particular case, this laptop points me directly to where I need to go. In this case, it's the it's the, my desktop. See it right there? I can click there. Everybody's options are going to be different. It may not say this on your computer depending on what Windows or system you're using. But this is just what mine says. I hit OK. And it says, Data Restore completely or completed successfully. Comic Culture Live is closing. Please restart. Now, basically, you've taken that information and you've poured it in the bucket. Okay, but you're not done yet. You're probably going, hey, where's my collection, right? Now you're going to hit OK. This is where it gets shaky, but don't worry. You hit OK. A little box is going to pop up with a whole bunch of little words. Not, let's not worry about that. We're going to close that down. And, oh, look, CCL's closed. Let's reopen it and see what happens. Going to boot it up like normal. It's going to check your profile. It's going to look in there for item updates, itemizing your database, and some little, maybe a little pop-up's going to pop up there. Oh, look, we have some cover titles in here. Look, we have Action Comics 2011. We have Amazing Spider-Man. We have Detective Comics. Oh, good. There's a couple of my books that I had cataloged in there. So we have managed to successfully restore our data from a backup. 
and put it in CCL. So this is something that's pretty easy to do, but again, that thing is not going to update with your information unless you have that backup. So you wanna make sure that you have that backup handy in a place where you know it is. Again, if it's on your desktop, if it's an icon on your desktop, if it's uh, in on a thumb drive as well. Some people save it in your My Documents folder, which will be uh, in a folder called Mid10 Media, which is our company name. And the file name is comicdata.sdf. But it's probably a good idea to save it on your desktop. It's, it's pretty easy to do. And sometimes you may end up with a whole bunch of, of backups on your desktop. Just make sure that you choose the most recent one or the one that has the most amount of data. And you can do that by looking at properties and seeing uh, when this last one was modified. But that is how you manage your CCL information and restore from a backup. And uh, there's a few other fun things you can do with this software. Actually, there's all kinds of fun things you can do with the software, but we're going to save them for other videos. I'm going to plug our website again. Go to comiccollectorlive.com if you want to give our software a roll. There's a 30-day free trial. No obligation. Uh, you don't have to pay for it if you don't like it. Uh, you get to keep whatever you've cataloged in those 30 days. But if you do like it, it's only $29.95 a year to manage your comic books, your toys, uh, statues and busts, all kind of fun stuff. And then if uh, you're not on our website buying comic books from one of our awesome sellers on there, you can also check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash comic collector live. If you'd like to tweet, you can go to Twitter and you can find us with our handle at CCL Comic Collect. And we would appreciate an email. Let us know how we're doing. If you need to contact us, if you have tech support, you need to have some questions that need answered, you can reach us at helpdesk at comiccollectorlive.com. Thanks a lot for watching our videos. We hope you'll uh, tag along with us uh, if you have any more questions or need some help managing the software. We're going to do our best to give it a shot and help you out, okay? Thanks a lot. See you next time.